What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel with the one and only Mo. And if you haven't already, check out some of my videos where I'm drawing the human anatomy and I have a section called the basics where I'm going over some of the techniques that I've learned over the years working in different laboratories. And I do think that some of these basic techniques can help you out in your household. All right, let's begin. So this video is dedicated to all of those out there that do not read and follow the directions on the label and I can't stress how important it is to do this because the directions are based off of the chemicals in the product. So your product could contain something hazardous like a sodium hypochlorite, which we see in bleach, or could be ammoniated. It may say dimethyl ammonium chloride or some other quaternary ammonium compound. These are examples of strong bases or your product could contain something that's not as strong, like a uh, acetic acid, which is considered to be a weak acid. And you'll see that in the stores as a 5% solution that you know as vinegar. Whatever the case, the directions will tell you to avoid mixing the products together, you know, and knowing the ingredients, it gives you a better idea of what exactly you should avoid mixing together. The ingredients will also give you an idea of what PPE or personal protective equipment you should wear or at least the lengths you should go to to protect yourself and others around you when using the cleaning product. The suggested PPE will most likely be found in the directions. The label will also tell you how to store the cleaning product properly. In a laboratory, you'll go to the extent of using um, secondary containers, for especially for highly reactive chemicals. So if a bottle is leaking, it will leak into the tray the secondary container, instead of possibly mixing with another substance, creating uh, toxic fumes, and now someone's passed out on the floor because of it. <laughs> so if you look at a label and it does not have the ingredients listed on it, it's because manufacturers nationwide are not actually required to provide you with the list of the ingredients. California is the exception. They have what's called the Cleaning Products Right to Know Act of 2017. And what went into effect was by 2020, they were supposed to provide you with a list of the ingredients, at least on a website. And by 2021, they were supposed to have um, the ingredients on the website and their labels. But this does not apply to the rest of the nation. There was a bill that was introduced in May 2017 called the Cleaning Products Labeling Act. Um, the last time it was reviewed, though, was in June 2017, and it hasn't been passed. It hasn't been signed. So at this point, manufacturers across the nation, except for California, are not required to provide you with a list on the label. But there are some states that are actually in the works of creating their own regulations regarding labeling their products. Um, New Jersey and New York are actually two other states that I know of. If you know of any other states, please let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. With all of that said, this is why it's important to follow the directions, especially if you don't know the ingredients. So if it says dilute one fourth of a cup of your concentrate into one gallon, follow that. Do not go based off a of feeling, meaning this is not purple enough or this isn't green enough. No, no, no. It's formulated for one fourth of a cup to one gallon. And for those who want to get a little more specific, you know, are you using a U.S. legal cup or a U.S. customary cup? A U.S. legal cup um, is for labeling purposes. It'll say two ounces or 60 milliliters on your label instead of um, 59.15 milliliters, which would be the U.S. customary cup when it comes to a quarter of a cup at least. You may see 59 milliliters on your measuring cup for baking, but when you're making your solution, a milliliter won't make a difference. You know, just whatever you have as a fourth of a cup, just use that. So if you've taken anything from this video, I hope it's to please follow the directions, especially if you don't know what the ingredients are or don't even know why they're being used. So if you like what you heard, you know, please like, please share, please subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And you know what? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.